taking any guesses. All right guys, so it's gotten to that time of the year. It's now pretty much winter time. It's cold, it's snowing, and the fishing is slowing down. So instead of fishing today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top six from late fall to early winter baits. And some of these go into the winter. But anyway, I'm gonna be showing you what I like to use throughout the late fall and early winter transactions. So I know there's not gonna be any fishing. I might throw in a fish catch at the end of the video, but I hope you guys learned some stuff from this video. All right, to start it off, I'm gonna show you guys what I like to use to cover ground. First thing I like to use is a little jerk bait. This is a Mega Bass Vision 110. Um, that you don't have to get one this expensive. This is it's way too expensive for an average angler. But anyway, you can get any kind of suspending jerk bait. What I like to do is you want to cast it out parallel to the bank, probably probably like 20 feet out or so. And then you want to twitch it three times. And then depending on what the water temperature is, you want to let it sit for probably around this time at least 10 seconds a lot longer once it gets a lot colder once the ice starts to melt off or like if there's ice starting to form over the lake you want to let this sit for a good 30 seconds or so because those fish are not wanting to chase down a bait bass right now are just chilling and they're not going to want to like go chase after something so you don't want to like twitch it a whole bunch of times you want to let it sit for at least 10 seconds depending on what the water temperature is but this is bait number one I like to use. Another one I like to use to cover ground is a little underspin. Um, I like putting Kytex on the back of these. This is just a little, like, um, I think it's like a zoom something. These work really good. Not, not really when it's super cold outside, but when it's late fall, like in the 40s or 50s, they munch this really good. You want to reel it in pretty slow. I like using reels with, like, a gear ratio of, like, under five or so you know same thing with the jerk bait you want to cast it out kind of parallel to the bank but since it's getting colder a little bit off the bank a little bit more and then just slow roll this like right off the bottom and you should get a lot of bites that way all right so bait three i like to use is a little this is a mod depth crankbait um this is a i'm a pin jack 200 or something it's got really nice colors to it really nice it's kind of you can kind of see through it so it's good clear water bait in most waters you're going to be fishing in the winter time the water's going to be clear because all the algae's dying off so you're not going to get you're not going to be usually fishing stained water unless it like rains or something but what i like to do with these these aren't a really good pond lure because this goes like 10 10 to 20 feet maybe a little bit shallower but um i like fishing these in lakes i mean i don't usually i don't usually fish lakes except unless i'm fishing a tournament or something but for you guys that fish lakes out there, these are really good baits to use like around dams. You want to be about 20 feet or 20, 30 to 40 feet off the bank and parallel cast it to the bank and then get this down all the way to the bottom and just barely creep it along and you'll get a lot of bites that way. Sometimes you want to bang it off the rocks and try and get some reaction bites. That's where you're going to get a lot of your bites from at this time of the year. They're not going to be on like a hungry kind of bite most of your bites are going to be from like reaction bites from like bouncing it bouncing it off wood and stuff and bouncing it off rocks and stuff like that so mod depth crankbait that's a pretty good one now bait number four these are two different kind of baits but they kind of go along together this is a blade bait a little blade bait and then this is just a little rattle trap this is a rapala some kind of rapala bait. These blade baits and rattle traps, these smaller ones, are not gonna get you your big bites because it's resembling like a two inch shad or something. But you're gonna get a lot of bites this way. Like if you're trying to get a quantity, a nice quantity, like during this time of the year, blade baits and little tiny rattle traps, they do really good. So what you're gonna wanna do with these, I like fishing this on spinning tackle. I don't like using something too small. I'd like a, maybe like a seven foot, uh, medium action spinning rod like my ducket I have you're gonna want to cast this out to like the middle of the pond slash lake let it go all the way to the bottom then twitch it up and it'll like flash it'll like vibrate up and then it'll like float to the bottom then you're gonna want to do it again just keep doing that 
And that's this is a really good reaction bait. We'll get a lot of reaction bites from this. And oh, gotta look in the finger. And this, you can do the same thing with this too, but you could also fish it like a traditional rattle trap. I've gotten some bites that way. These two baits, I really don't think it's a big bite bait, but like, you'll get a lot of bites that way. So if you're looking for a nice quantity during this time, those are the baits I'd like to go with. So now we're gonna switch to finesse. And well, actually, before we do finesse, I'm gonna show you bait number five. Uh, yeah, five. So these are two. This is a football head jig. These get really nice bites in the winter time. Get a lot of big bites this way because it's got a big resemblance. It'll resemble like a, this one's like a crawfish resemblance, but you can get them in different colors, you know. You can get quantity on these little finesse jigs. It's like a smaller version of like a flipping jig. If you're looking for a big bite, and in the winter time, that's usually what I go for because you're not gonna get a whole lot of quantity in the winter time unless it's a really good day or something. But these football head jigs, they catch some freaking toads in the winter time. You wanna fish it super slow. You wanna fish it super slow and you kinda wanna feel like what's on the bottom with them. You wanna like twitch and like. Got him. For these football head jigs, I wanna use something kinda heavy. I'd like a 7-2. Oh, it was, wait. What the heck? What the mean? What just happened? Well, that was weird. Was my house haunted or something? It kind of turned off by itself and it, like the outlet, it wasn't the outlet that was the problem. Like I was saying, I like heavier kind of rods. You want a big, bigger rod when you're fishing these bigger football head jigs. I like a 7.2, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how far you're wanting to cast. So for these football head jigs, I like using my 7.6 heavy Vendetta rod. You can get it out kind of far, and it's got a lot of backbone to it, so when you set the hook on those big fish, it'll really get them in. Now the, fo the finesse jig, I like putting a, like a little tiny, like little crawl imitation on the back as a trailer. It's got purple and then like, black and orange color to it and it's got a little like black and blue in there too so it's resembling kind of like a bluegill or like a little little sunfish on the bottom oh yeah this is a really good bait i like to use i like throwing these on spinning setups because it doesn't have a whole lot of weight this is probably like an eighth ounce football head jig it's really light um so you're gonna need something kind of like a spinning setup to get it out there kind of far so now we're down to the last setup I like to use. This is the finesse stuff. All right, so now we're down to finesse. And the two things I like to use are this little shaky head. This is the hook you're gonna wanna use. Hold on, let me get the light onto it. This is, a little, this is the hook you wanna use. And then a six inch little trick worm. And what this is gonna do, so when you cast the scene out, it's gonna go to the bottom and it's gonna sit up like this, but the worm's gonna be dangling like that is and it's just going to be doing that in the water and you're just going to want to twitch a little bit and you get a lot of bites that way i've gotten a lot of big bites on shaky heads too my friend gabe caught like a five pounder at this pond and well this is like early spring so but same kind of setup little shaky head these catch a lot of fish too um this is probably one of my number ones to catch i like you can go out and catch a lot of fish on shaky heads. They can be pretty nice fish too. You're not gonna, I mean, you will catch small fish on shaky heads sometimes, but they do catch some nice fish. So yeah, so that's a shaky head. And the last bait is a little Ned rig. Now this isn't for like big, big baits, just like the, a lot of the baits I use in the winter time, but these catch a nice quantity of fish. I mean, look how small that is. It's like maybe an inch and a half give or take. These are really good. These catch you a lot of fish, but it takes them a while to find them because it's so small. I mean, it's only an inch and a half. You want to be patient, but you will get a lot of bites. If you find a school, they will eat this for sure. I like using like, okay, so you're going to, you're, you're going to need like a little mushroom head, mushroom head, jig head. 
see how it's kind of flat like right there i don't know if it's focusing i'm using my little iphone you're gonna need hooks like that and then you can just use like any senko this is just a little cheap yum dinner i cut off just a little inch and a half off the back i know z-man makes like special things out of like they're really buoyant and they'll like stick up just like this those are really good and if you buy those um they're not going to rip off like these Senkos are. If you're going to use little Senkos, um, every fish you catch, they'll probably get torn up and you'll have to switch. But um, those are a really good investment if you get those Z-Mans. I'm not, they're like Finesse TR, yeah, Finesse TRD. That's the, that's the bait they make for these little Ned rigs. And they're indestructible. Like you can pull them and they, I don't know what they make it out of but it's like indestructible and you will not lose any of them. But if you do get those, it doesn't have any scent or anything. So if you're gonna get those, I'd put a little bit of scent on it just so the fish can find it a lot easier and stuff. And also, I like fishing this on a little spinner or spinning setup, same thing with the shaky head. Uh, so you can cast it out farther and feel the bites a little bit easier because bait casters are for, you know, reaction baits and bigger bulkier baits so i hope you guys i know this is a boring video and i know I, i'm not really good at this kind of stuff i kind of sounded bad i know that's my tips for you guys i'm not sure if they were really good tips like i said i'm not really good at uh giving tips and stuff but this is all i got um so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys learned some stuff hopefully it'll warm up i know it's gonna warm up a little bit next weekend um it'll be in like the 40s and 50s but eh, we'll get we'll go out and try for sure so i hope you guys enjoy this episode and tune in next time on addicted vision 12. Got him. it's a good one it's a giant Holy crap, that is a nice fish. Holy crap. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at oh look how look at that look how stocky that bass is. It's not even that long. Oh my god. Oh my god, he hit it like a tank. Wow. He annihilated that Look at that fish. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so, that is such a nice fish. All right, let's let her go. He's probably about, oh, he's ready to go. Look at him bite me. There you go, buddy. Wow, nice fish. I'd give him probably three and a half, maybe four. And I'm trying to grind up on a million. And I might kill it if I feel it. Yeah, yeah, damn right, I kill it if she get it. Matt got a stench it. Take it and we flip it. Take it and remix it. Bring it back six in curves on them hoes. Bang two B, need pocket like your bow. Hold up, wait, know exactly how it go. It's Roach. No, bitch, can't do it like this. Foot low, dumb, no, both my wrists.